name is Jill Donaldson. I'm a neurosurgeon and practice neurosurgery here at Community. I grew up in Central Florida, close to Orlando, a suburb of, of Orlando called Winter Park, and it's a delightful town. Um, and I moved to Indiana to go to medical school and just really liked Indianapolis and Central Indiana and decided to stay. Indianapolis and Indiana as a whole is a great state to live. Um, there's lots of arts, um, cultural events in Indianapolis. We have a world-class symphony, great plays and theater events, as well as concerts. Um, there's more to do here than I will ever have time to do. And there's also a lot of outdoor jogging trails and biking trails. It is clear that community is focused on having state-of-the-art equipment in the facility and making certain that surgeons, and, and specific to surgeons because that is what I do, have the equipment that we need to deliver up-to-date state-of-the-art care to patients. Um, and the facility is fabulous. The operating rooms are very well stocked with the equipment we need as well as the personnel that really help us to be able to do what we need to do in a safe and very efficient manner. The community is very dedicated to the physicians. Um, there's excellent communication between the administration and the physicians in terms of what we need, um, why we need it, um, and how we can make patient care delivery as efficient and safe as possible. Um, and I think there's just much better communication here than at my previous practice between both administration and the physicians um, to try to accomplish common goals and, and just to find out what it takes to really excel in patient care and deliver a product that's as good as it can be. Because of the number of, of physicians, they can negotiate contracts with the insurers, and that's something that you know, I don't have to do, I can spend my time reading journals and taking care of patients and doing neurosurgery. And also because of the volume of physicians, I think it gives them, you know, the upper hand to, to get the best contracts that they can. In terms of the technology here in the hospital, it's just been superb, both in the operating room as well as in my office. Um, in the operating room we have a stealth station, we have the O-arm, which helps us to do navigation for spine surgery and intracranial surgery in the safest manner possible. Um, in the office we also have electronic medical record and we have electronic imaging, which is so nice because if a referring physician has obtained an image on a patient and they're not sure whether, you know, do they need surgery or are there any other options the patient may not want to have surgery, um, I can look at the images and we can at least get a plan of, of you know, there, there are sometimes more than one option for, for many treatment plans and we can formulate a plan for that patient based on my visualizing his images and talking to the physician on the phone. The people I work with on a day-to-day -day basis are clearly very devoted to patient care. Um, they are very good at what they do. They're extremely professional. Patients are very happy with the care they receive here. And I'm constantly getting good feedback on patients that have had a great experience in the hospital and that they want to know, you know who should they tell, how, how can they you know, express gratitude. And, and they have a very good experience after spending several days in the hospital after a large surgery and uh, how much they liked their physical therapist and their nurses. Um, and I love hearing that because that's what it's all about. It's taking somebody and helping them get better and doing so in a manner that's, you know, as enjoyable as it can be to be sick and in a hospital. But I think that patients are confident that they get good care here.